Well, children, what we have discussed about the continuity of life, there we have discussed that the cell divides. And in the previous classes, I have also diagrammatically shown you the mitosis, mitosis, and meiosis. So, when the cell is fully mature, it starts, tends to divide. Now, in the beginning, the nucleus divides. After the division of the nucleus, the cytoplasm divides. Now, we have to go through the process how the nucleus divides. Right now, you see, there is a cell, and in an animal cell, there are two special characteristics. One is the centrosome, and inside the centrosome, there are two dot like structures which look like two eyes. They are known as the centrio centromere. And this centromere, during the cell division, they act for the polarization. When the nucleus divides, along with the chromatin nature, they come to form the chromosomes that we have already come to know. A chromosome has the different points where they are attached. One is telocentric, that is attached at the head. One is mesocentric, little bit of in the middle, and the one is mesocentric. So telocentric, ectocentric, and mesocentric. There are the three places where they are attached. Now, whatever it happens, now they go before the division, they come to a phase which is known as interface. Now you see, in the interface body, we have a cell cycle. Now as the fertilization is on, after the fertilization, a xylone is formed. And a xylone is formed, then there is little bit of changes in xylone, that means a metamorphosis, slow and gradual development. And that, that development, before the development, the xylone actually rests for divide. In somatic cell division, the cell division of the cells, body cell division, there they take the rest, which is finally known as mitosis. And for the mitosis, there is also meiosis, that is for the reduction of cell division, and for the sex cell division. Right now, we have this phase. So, differentiation of the zygote and full development is known as the cell cycle. And there we have interface. In interface, because there are a lot of activities there, so definitely what was formed, what was not, that is to be checked. And for that, they have interface. And in the interface, there are four stages are there. One is G0, the second one is G1 and then S phase where the synthesis of DNA is done and finally G2 that means another treatment and then they finally go for the mitosis. Right now what is happening here? As I have told you here in G0 as a resting state from there they come to G1 state. In G1 state what is happening? The cell nucleus is producing the RNA producing proteins because the RNA is required to synthesize DNA. So that is why RNA synthesis protein is being properly done. Well, right now, if the RNA synthesis protein is being done properly, okay, what I am saying about the G0 that they prepare for RNA synthesis protein. It's not a very smear point that the RNA synthesis is done. They repeat RNA synthesis because the RNA synthesis is very very important. If the RNA is not properly synthesized, the DNA synthesis will not. So this is the nucleus for you. And there, inside the nucleus, they produce the synthesis of the protein for the preparation of RNA. For the preparation of RNA. Then, this is continued to G1 stage also. This is continued to G1 stage also. And here more and more RNA synthesis is done. More and more RNA synthesis is done. RNA synthesis protein forms the RNA. 
forms are any inside the nucleus, they form the RNA. And then after that, they go for the G1 checkpoint. That means they go for the G1 checkpoint where the cell is ready for the synthesis stage. That means the S stage. S stage means they are the DNA will be synthesized. So whether the materials are prepared, suppose we are going to make something at our home. So we will check whether the materials required are properly taken or not. That will be checked in the G1 stage. And in G1 stage, if the cell is satisfied, then they go for a small resting period to review the things. What to review the things? Whether ample amount of RNA protein has been synthesized. And then it is ready to go for the next step. Then in the S phase, the synthesis phase, the DNA replication is done. And you know that the DNA is a double helical structure. It's a double helical structure. The strands are over here. So this is the structure of the DNA. And that has been replicated. That means the DNA produces one after another. Because it is required. And after that, again, when the DNA is synthesized, then what will happen? They will again go to the G2 checkpoint. What? Because sometimes the DNA will be damaged. Okay? And if the DNA is damaged, either they will amend or the process will be repeated to get the proper DNA synthesis. Alright? And that has been done in G2. That by doing this, the size of the cell will increase. This cell size of the cell will increase and then the DNA replication will be done. If everything is proper, then they go for the DNA synthesis and they will do it completely. Then there will be again coming a resting step. After the resting step, they will rest and then they go for M phase. What is M phase? The mitosis phase. They will go for the mitosis phase. Okay. Now in mitosis, what will happen? It is a Somatic cell division. In somatic cell division, what happened? Then, the inside the nucleus, the chromatin materials by which the chromosome is produced, what I told you, it was a chromosome in this way. In any way, you see the chromosomes are like this. They are like this. One is smaller and another is bigger. Like that. So, slowly they will detach. Slowly, they will detach. That means the chromatin part will come out. Obviously, you know, they will form the spindle formation. They will form the spindle formation. Slowly and gradually, polarization will be there. There will be polarization like this. In the nucleus, the central centromere that will turn in the right angle, in the right angle. One will come over here, another will come over there. And then the formation of the spindle will be there. So in all cases, this is a smear diagram only. Obviously, there will be an equatorial. In the equatorial region, the things will just go towards this, so in right angle. And after this, the cell will go and increase the size when they go for polarization and getting all the chromatins, part of the chromatins attached with the other one. Because you know that two, two kinds of chromosomes are there, chromosomes from the mother part and chromosomes from the Father, that they come and they come together. Here, we, here the bifurcation will be done, and slowly and gradually the ridges will be appear. The ridges will be appear, and ridges will be appear, and the nucleus 
in the time will be divided into two parts. And as the nucleus is divided, then there will be a little bit of rest, and after the rest, the start of the cell division in two parts will be done. The cell work will get into prominent size like this in animal cells. And finally, they will come detached from there. And after this, the division of the cytoplasm will start. So first is the nuclear division, and if the nucleus is divided into two, then following by the cytoplasmic division is there. Yeah. So when the cytoplasm is divided, final region obviously there is a Well, as the coloration done, so there is an equatorial plate which is created in between the two polarized strands, and this equatorial plate later on remains to separate the total cell. So, what we have understood today that a cell at maturity it divides and during the cell division, especially the somatic cell division, that means the body cell division, it happens to that after the preparation of that, if the nucleus of the cell is mature, they go for the division. The nucleus is completely ready, the cell is completely ready, then they go, as the fertilization has already been done, I told you right now. So, the cell differentiation starts. And then they go for the interface. In the interface, they go for four steps G0, G1, S, and G. G0 is an absolute resting state where the cell gets ready, especially the nucleus gets ready for the division. The next one, in G1 phase, the RNA preparation synthesis of protein is done. That means the protein is synthesized where they will be used for the preparation of RNA. Because RNA is required to produce the DNA. That is why it is done. And then after doing all those, they go to the G1 state where there is a G1 checkpoint. As you know, I told you earlier also, when you go to get some entry and all those, there is a check by the security and all those, but the cell has its own security that is the checkpoint one or the G1 checkpoint where they see whether the protein which is produced is enough for the DNA synthesis or not. If it is enough for the DNA synthesis, then the cell takes a little bit of pause to review the things and then they go for the S phase. That means the synthesis of DNA phase. And in DNA synthesis phase, DNA replication that is done by the RNA which is produced in the nucleus. And then, as soon as the RNA replication is done, then they again check whether the everything is okay or not before they go for the DNA synthesis. And if the DNA synthesis goes on, DNA is a double helical structure. Here, that is made of RNA and mRNA, I think, and then it is done. And after it has it is done, then the chromatin fibers, they get together before that they are made because of the release themselves. And as they release themselves, you know, the strands one is bigger and another is larger everywhere. And they are also in serial number in chromosomes. 1 to 22 and 23rd is obviously the sixth and autosomes and right. And then as a, in a cell there are the centromere is there, what I have already spoken to you, and in centrosome the centromere is there and the centromere goes for the polarization where they move to the right angles. 90 degree move and the polarization starts. 
as a moderation starts. After the production is done, being done, there is an inventory of plate which is created. This inventory of plate comes to, I mean, from the division of the cell. And then, as the nuclear division is complete, then the equatorial plate from that, the regions are added and this is the two different cells. This is how, in the interface, it is done. And as soon as they do it, they go into the M phase, the phase of the mitosis. And in mitosis, the cell, soft body cell divides into two. And that is what 